child. Is that you have usually the dinosaur period, starting to collect fossil or something like that. After watching Jurassic Park, that was, oh my God. <laughs> Exploring something that is completely unexplored. This is my this is my future. <laughs> And then, before my first year of university, there was this poster with an oceanographic vessel, and I was like, what is this? In my mind, maybe uh, there is a sort of, I don't know, click, <laughs> let's say, I have to be on that boat. I am in love with this instrument, and I am in love with this kind of job, I want to do that. <laughs> Mapping with a boat, with a ship, and go down within the ROV is exploring something that is completely unexplored, and that's, that's the key point for me. Creating maps of uh, the seafloor is creating map of something that is unknown up to now. You can see the black part that is an explorer, and you start to color it for different depths. You can fly into the 3D model and have a better view, but this is not something that is created by me. This is the real environment. Okay, it seems like a video game, but this is the reality. So I am exploring something that was previously unexplored. I don't want to say I'm an explorer, but yes, I'm an explorer. <laughs> Marine geologists generally work on, on boat and doesn't care about scuba diving because this is a, too shallow for geologists. For geologists, shallow parts start from 130 meters to zero. But on a chart, you cannot represent something that is very small because it is impossible. So to understand better how it works in the sea, you have to understand the different scale of representation. There are a lot of factors that come together that makes the Red Sea unique in the world. I can try to understand the entire bathymetry profile, starting from the coast and go down to the deep. If you can understand every type of environment, it gives you an indication about the other ocean in the past. I will take the sample there. I precisely know where is it on my map. And so I can use that sample to represent Okay, this kind of uh, signature that I have on my dataset is represented by that sample. When you put all the sample in your maps and you know the depth and the position and the video of that sample, we can understand more or less the condition of the sea now. And if we can date all the things, we can fill the gaps in the story. And so we can link all together and say, okay, this is the evolution of this part of uh, the Red Sea along the time scale. And that's, uh, that's crazy for me. If you're an engineer or an astronaut, your dream is to be on the shuttle go in the space and something like that. As a marine scientist, your shuttle is a submarine. There is no other vehicle that can bring you down. We have a joke here now. <laughs> your life before and after your first sub dives. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing. I'm like a baby, <laughs> smiling this. Okay, I'm at the top of my career. <laughs> I never expected that I will be in a submarine. Well, it's a lot of fun. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> really, it's like a, like a dream, really like a dream. This panoramic view of all the, uh, of all the um, environment, yeah, you can feel very small in this world. And that's, uh, that's a thing. Wow! <laughs> I think that I repeat amazing 30 times and I don't say any other word. <laughs> okay, Fabio, you are very lucky. 
you're very lucky because you're doing the job that you did you love. Oh. To me, the important part is understand how it works because we need to protect it. This is not just for the knowledge by itself, but you have to apply your knowledge for a purposes. Say, okay, which kind of uh, regulation, which kind of solution we can find? It. Try to make marine protected areas, special protected areas. Uh, these are the things that can be done from my point of view and can help to preserve uh, our seafloor. That's, uh, that's exploring. That's the world of my life.